Okay, so what do we mean by evaluating sources? When we, uh, when you're out looking for information, um, you know, the very important thing is you're always kind of critically evaluating what you're looking at. And this especially applies to websites. You know, you kind of apply it to everything, but especially websites. Because uh, websites are notoriously, um, they can be put out there, published by a very good source, a nice uh, authoritative scholarly kind of source, or one that is not so much that way. So probably the most important thing to look at when you're evaluating a source, uh, which you probably do kind of unconsciously in one way or another already, is who is you know responsible for the site, who is the author of the page you're looking at, or whether that's a single person or a group or an organization, you know, it could be like uh, a company trying to sell you something or a nonprofit organization with some kind of agenda, that kind of thing. You want to kind of uh, find out that kind of stuff. Uh, other things to keep in mind, you know, you may not be able to judge a book by its cover, but a lot of times you can judge a website by its design. So if there's lots of banners and pop-ups and commercial stuff all over the place, uh, it's probably a pretty good indication that you're not at a very scholarly site, a good, a good scholarly source. Um, you know, other things, depending on what you're looking for, how up-to-date, how current is the site, um, how much detail or how, how in-depth does it go. Um, and, you know, of course, always when you're looking for information, it's for your specific topic, your research project, whatever you're looking on. So, you know, you want it to be relevant and appropriate to that. And those are some things to keep in mind.